Fata would like to speak to us. We take your initial comments and then your questions can follow. Coach, yes, sir. you escaped relegation <laughs> on the final day. Yeah. Your take on the game? Yeah, a well balanced game today, and I worked it very well. You know, we didn't start the game very well. We didn't start at all, but coming back from second half, at least, there was a, a lot of motivation, and the boys know what to do. And a little mistake would have taken us to relegation, and thank God that we have escaped it, and it will not happen again. Fatal, your views on the game? Well, uh, I was supposed to be the happiest boy, or happiest player today. Myself and Asamoah, because of our pedigree, taking the Ghost to relegation. We are dead. But God Almighty. did it for us by escaping relegation narrowly. We are happy. Uh, it was a difficult season for us. Along the line, when we went to the house, we played to beat them, and they were able, they, they, were, they went to arise, arise the, the, the referee, for, ref, for the referee not to continue the game. I was happy. It was God's intervention. We were able to go to my former club, Ashgold, to beat Ashgold, and I was like, no, God wants to do something for us. I guess Bechim, you know, we're supposed to beat Bechim, and then we'll be comfortable. But Bechim came, we had the first goal, and then we equalized. Still, the one point helped us. So this match, I know it's going to be difficult because we are playing with a team that don't have pressure. They will possess, they will play, so I'm not surprised. They took the lead, we came back, and they, they scored again. So very difficult. Such match, such matches are very difficult. I've experienced such matches before, but. Alhamdulillah to God, we were able to, I mean, at, at least won the game. The three points is very important. And now, we are not relegated, so we give thanks to Almighty Allah. At halftime, you were down to one. Entering the dressing room, what was going through your mind? It was difficult. I wish you were in the dressing room. A lot of pressure, but I told the guys, they, they, they need to be calm. Because it's normal if you are investing your money, and then you see such uh, 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 performance, you be worried, but they were able to come situations and then we went back with determination and then we had those two goals and then won the game. Fans from the stands were saying this was not a competitive game and that you came back into the second half, something happened and they played it cool for you to win. What do you have to tell the fans? That's their opinion. But we on the we we are on the pitch and it's all happy. That's their opinion. The most important thing we think the game, there's no casualties, there's no death. We we're able to win our game. There's no any protest, any problem. That's most important. So that's their opinion. You know, fans definitely will say something. So that's their opinion. Were you happy with your team's performance today? No. No and never. No at all. Because we were playing as if we, 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 we were leading. It's not possible like that. No, it's not, it's not good. The performance is very, very bad. To be frank, very, very bad. The thoughts that you were coming into this game in a relegation zone, did it affect the team? Well, um, we all knew without winning this game, we pack our bags. So, you know, individually, everybody in their hearts that is having it. Some, some of the guys don't have the big heart. As I said earlier on, this game, you know, it's going to, it's going to be difficult. Because we wanted, to, at all costs, we need to win the game. So if you don't relax, you'll be committing a lot of blunders or mistakes. So it was difficult, but the most important, at least we finished and then we survived. Coach. Yes, sir. The players, did they play to your expectation today? First half, no. First half, no, like I said already. Mostly, certain do happen. There's a lot of pressure under them. Because a line to go down. A weeks ago, I said something. Why not in the sea and you don't go out? Why not in the banks? And there's a walk that inside. If you don't move far, far away from it, it can come out and catch you. And this is what happened. Nearly. So there's a lot of pressure. And if you watch our matches from the beginning of the season, our performance mostly go down 70th minute. We'll start the game very well, first up after 70th minute. We'll go down 70th, 75th going. But today, it was opposite. It was opposite. We didn't start the game well. It's unusual. And later, I got to know that the pressure, we were under pressure. You have to deliver, deliver, deliver. And that was it. Second half, we have to what? 
talk to them. When we lose this match, we are going to Wahoo. We will play first division over Wahoo. And how many of you, I believe, I will go to Wahoo and stay in Wahoo. So that, that, that motivated them and a lot of things changed again. Coach, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Ignatius. Uh, does it not worry you that you do all of the hard work, to prepare a team, come out here and play, and because of incidents that have happened elsewhere, and also partly what is happening here, people are reason to question the integrity of the products that is the league? For instance, this is one of the best leagues that I will play, to be honest with you. Because then I tell everybody has his opinion, but to us, our way is to survive relegation. Whatever that we do to survive, we did on the field of play, not outside. We saw our performance fair half, first half, which I said it wasn't good. It was unusual. Our best performance at first half after 17 minutes. Second half, and the 70, after 17 minutes, you see our lackadaisical. But to be honest with you, there's nothing like uh, something fishy around it. We play our heart out during the second half and we got our goals. Going forward, in the subsequent season, do you see a need for any? Any concerted effort towards sharing this perception out there about the staying on the league? Yeah, mostly uh, a lot of things has to be changed, to be honest with you. And mostly say things like what they are saying. Because the league is competitive, so small things. Against King Fessa, people were doubting us. Now, why would I allow, uh, I will, I will allow King Fessa to beat us and go ahead of us? No, they have their opinion. But what the thing we have to do, everybody has to prepare very well and get a good season. And that will be it. Coach, Victoria Nigeria, if I was a first sub in the game, at some point in the game, I don't know, is it that he was not motivated to play? Adibayo has a, a lot of issues behind and which we are managing. And between we, it is between we and the boy alone, it can come out. So let's give it up. Yeah, yeah, to better. At least the most important matches like this nature. Forget about the style. Three points I need to survive. If there's a time, we we'll play the fine fine football. Sometimes we play the fine fine football, don't we? Three goals, uh, a goal that will survive. That's what. So you think we're okay for the second half? At least, not everybody's uh, what perception. Playing that game and going to relegation, which one would be better? <laughs> we have skilled, and thank God, at least. It's, our duty to what? Prepare the team very well. Say thing will not happen again next season. Uh, as you said with your pedigree, people expect more from you than Jan. As you are going to do next season, what is the expectation that we should expect? Thank you. I think uh, it's going to be another difficult season. But thank God we have a good management. In the first round, it wasn't good for us, but management were able I just bring on board some players that help us at least. So I think uh, what happened today, they were here, they saw who and who cannot play. It's very difficult for, for you to uh, bring in player. Maybe the players will sign for three years contract. They want you to go. You know, you know there are some clauses. I don't know how they sign their contract, but it's very difficult. But we all saw what happened today. And the season, I don't know, the season can start as early as possible, maybe September, November. So from now, we, we knew we, we didn't get a good season, so we need to start very early. So management, I know they will do their best to I mean, beef up the squad so that we can do better because we, we don't have to face such problems again. The season will be very difficult next season for, for, uh, from the look of things. So I think uh, let's see, let's wait and see what management will bring on board. Okay, well, last question to the two of you. Yes, sir. Fatal, what do you think should change about Legon Cities come next season? Well, I think uh, beefing up the squad, early preparation. Yeah, I think these two things can help. Because we need to have players that have good character, winning mentality, who are hungry to play. For me, I see it like some of the guys are comfortable. That's what, how I see it. Uh, sorry to say, at least, 
I've played for so many years. If I don't have anything at all, I'll sleep past. I'm still dedicated. Some of them at all. So sometimes I ask them, and the most careful fear now. They don't push. I'm being frank, they don't push. I've played the Premier League for 20 years. Uh, no, professional football. 20 years, since from 2002. So next year, 20 years. I'm still playing. I'm 36 years. But always, I do go to, I do go to training, yeah, yeah. dedicate real good, real good. everything. I put, I put in everything. I don't lie, I was not playing games, but I was still pushing. I started the league and I ended the league. So it's like Alpha and Omega. And thank God I've, 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 I've uh, survived the team from relegation. That's most important. So uh, I, know, I, I know, I believe the management, they will do well and then make sure they will put, put this together so that we can, we can do better. You need to go to motivation. A, number one. number one. Motivation for Lagos cities. Number one. number one. So I don't know what is worrying the guys. I don't know. Thank you. If you say beef up the team, big name players or low down players who are willing to play. Asamoah is here, Adebayo is here, Fatah Odada is here. But still, you are suffering. Not big names who are willing to play. Players who are angry to play. And I know that's what they will go in for, I believe. So, coach, the same question. Yeah, as like you said, the beef up the team and early preparation. In a sense that we saw what happened, other big names or young guys or whatever situation is, those who are committed, very, very committed, okay? Not because of money or anything, but those that are committed to play. That's the first aspect. And thank God that we have our new boss and he knows in the trade of Ghana football. He has seen it a lot. And we'll, we'll leave everything to him. And We'll see what happened. Coach, from what you are saying, are you saying Legon Cities did not sign committed players? I'm they just saying. signed players? What I say, for instance, if I say committed players, a game like this, from sitting somewhere, during our days, there's nothing. But we were playing from our heart. During those days, you could see that. But you, you also how the game was. Sometimes even you have to shout a player, go and mark. They will not tell us that I don't know this. As I said, whether they were tired or what, we can say committed or not committed, whatever the situation is, we need a place that can push harder than this. Thank you. Thank you.